Welcome back to Perch Pro 2018, where the four teams have finished the first half of day one. When the day is over, the team with the largest amount of fish will receive one point, and the team with the biggest fish will also receive one point. So far the fishing has been slow, and the teams haven't caught that many fish. One reason is because they had to change tactics from last year, because the perch need to be over 30 centimetres in length in order to count this season. If we take a look at the scoreboard, we can see that Ilex Gunky has the lead with 13 perch. That could change quickly though, as this is a pretty low number when fishing for perch. The biggest fish has also been caught by Ilex Gunky, with a weight of 1.485 kilos. It's a fairly good sized fish, but not impossible to beat. Since all the teams are going for big fish at the moment, Ilex Gunky can't feel safe at all. However, they will be happy to know that they are doing something right compared to the other teams. Now I'm a little bit more uh, confident that we, we, we can gain at least one point Yeah, but today. don't worry, I mean, it just, it, it now has a six hours some to go. can change now. Second, second part of the day, they can go for numbers ah, yeah, yeah, but and get them. We can, we can, uh, but we can also go for some numbers. Yeah. Now, yeah, <laughs> of course. All right, uh, that was quite an interesting report. Well, it sure was. Uh, it's quite obvious, I think at least, that both CVC and Gunky are not uh, in a place where they can catch many fish at all. Well, I mean, Gunky is leading the number of points. <laughs> yeah, well, 13 fish. Yeah, this, no, it's no number. Uh, sporting, uh, I think, have the same problem as we do with shitty weather, uh, bad conditions. Um, I'm not sure if they're going for big fish, but I think they're going for sort of both. The only thing we can actually do today is Hammer. to step, step it up and optimize our chances of both. Yeah. I mean, in this lake, the big fish and the number fish, not a number points, yeah. are swimming together. So yeah, don't waste too much we need time. To, we just need to do the best of what we have. Yeah, and um, don't, don't waste too much time in one spot. Just no. tuk, tuk, hammer it, hammer jump it. Jump around, jump around. Hard work. But we must not let Gunky get two punts today. That would be a disaster, I mean. That wouldn't be good. One day with two points, and then you, well, well, I would like them to win, that's okay, but yeah. I don't want it to be over already. No. That's right, Stefan. If Ilex Gunky gets two points today, it'll be hard for anyone else to win this competition. One team that needs to step up their fishing in order to steal the big fish point is CWC Fishing Team. I'm preparing some lunch now because I feel the energy is leaving my body. So it needs to lunch, even if it's competition fishing, to keep the energy level in a normal standard. And in the meantime, Jimmy will make a couple of casts so that we don't lose too much fishing. Jimmy. Yeah, I'm coming. Coffee. Instead of drinking coffee, Team Sporting has changed their location, and it seems like they're catching up on Ilex Gunky. Not the one we want, but definitely a. Yeah. Pretty baby! Swedish perch way up the north are really pretty. And they're good fighters too. They're, this one really smoked it. You have an 8 and grams on that one or? 14. 14, yeah. Ka ching ah! Now it looks like that we have found the fish. And we have we have found the fish all day, but now they start biting. We were kind of strong in the other end of the lake, so we changed to the other part of the lake. It's like a lake who is in two, two parts, and we went to the other part of the lake. And now we found the fish, and we had uh, three or four fast bites. Not super tangles, but decent size. Definitely uh, sizes who, who count, so let's see what, what we can do here. I hope. Uh, there's a ton, yeah, ton of bait oh, fish just under us. So just hope that uh, we can stay into them. Ilex Gunky has made some changes for the afternoon. Let's hear about their tactics. So now new spot. We change a little bit uh, the, the type of spot we're going to fish. We're going to fish a little bit deeper. 
and uh, we select on the map uh, drop off from uh, four to six, seven meters, no more, and we fish those drop off, and um, uh, that's what we target now. So we fish a little bit deeper and see what's happening, uh, what is going to happen, to happen, because on the on the shoreline. Uh, we get one fish there, one fish there, and uh, we believe that deeper we can have fish that have been resting a little bit more. So they are not so shy and hopefully we get more bite. That's the plan. Oh. Yeah, fish on. Right, go on now. Oh. It seems like these new tactics are quick to pay off. During competition, you need to be flexible and not be afraid to change if something isn't working. <laughs> <laughs> this is surely another keeper on the boogie woogie crawl. <laughs> so, I tried the boogie crawl, the small one, on a football chick head, and the, the bite comes right on the bottom with no move. I move, let's sit down, and then pff, the fish pick up the bait. In the spa again. Oop. It's not a monster. Ah. It's a good start Yeah. for the afternoon. I started fishing more slow. Not so aggressive, just on the oh. bottom. Pop up, let him sit, sit down and, and take it really on the bottom. The first Normally, time he, he, he missed and the second time he, he put it. Normally every buoy deliver a fish. Deliver fish. Yet another fish for Ilex Gunky and if they catch it, they will increase their lead even more. Every fish is important and even though they're not aiming for the number points, they're doing quite well. Not a keeper. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> we are catching up with the numbers. This is another good fish. It's not, uh, not more than one kilo, but good size. And again on, on the boogie crawl. Yeah, I get no bite. Oh, it's a smell? <laughs> boogie crawl have an incredible smell. Uh, Even the... after hours in water, it's still smelling. Thomas, I think if we get concentration a little bit, if we concentrate a bit, we can as well go for the numbers. It's As you know, I'm always concentrated. It's not out of reach. Yeah. I don't expect that they have uh, just below 10 fish all the every team. So yeah. we can also try to do something for, for the numbers. Because you see, in some spot, when you arrive, you can hammer five, six fish in Easily. no time. Yeah. That's possible. The fishing has been slow for vision fly dressing, but now they've finally caught one. Whee! So this is how the small perch looked like. But it was the first perch in a long time. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was. It's the beginning of something grand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Whee! It's a fish! It's a fish! <laughs> Good! Fish! So this guy will probably have made it last year, but this year is a no-go. We need to step it up now. We need to find Mr. Big among those small ones. What's exciting about the big fish point is that one bite is enough and you never know when that bite could come. So the teams always need to be on their toes. Oh, that's nice a nice fish. That's a nice fish. Cool. Oh. Whoop. Hands up. Ah. Click it. Whoop. We had have a. Uh, it's a bit tricky now. Uh, we have some some small bites, only small small touches. Only two fish. Over 30 today. It's like. Uh, it's crazy. It's crazy. But you never know. Suddenly it just boom, and we have a a big one. One o'clock. Time runs way too fast. Uh, we need to reload and <laughs> report one fish in the protocol, I think. Yeah. Ah, oh, we're double digits. 
<laughs> we got 10. <laughs> we can beat, we can beat, and we're probably gonna beat 13 fish throughout the day. The only problem is that <laughs> Gunk is not gonna stop fishing. Mm, probably not. Could you please call them? Mm. Stop! Dear Frederick, <laughs> will you please stop fishing now, please? <laughs> Yeah. Perch? No. Another Zander? No. Another pike. You're kidding, right? It's just going there, so. Both Vision Fly Dressing and CWC fishing team are struggling, and it seems like CWC are back to their old habits and catching Zanders again. A nice one. But wrong fish again. Wrong fish again. We are struggling with the perch. Keep on hammering, my yeah. friends. We have no other choice. We are, we are changing places again. It's really tough fishing. We cannot seem to find the perch who's feeding. We are finding a lot of bait fish, big bait balls, but we can't find the perch who's feeding. We get one or two and then it's over. And then we get one again and it's over. Yesterday we had like, we're gonna, every time we found the bait fish, we had like 10, 15 fish. Today it's one, two, and then it's over. So we try to see if we can find a place where the fish are a little more active. It's been really, really tough, but it seems it's really tough for the other teams too. So I guess it's the same for everybody. But uh, we'll find them sooner or later. I hope sooner though, than later. We, we, we're here to get big fish this year, right? Yeah. Yeah. Now it's hard and Gunke have, <laughs> have quarter one, one and a half 42 kilo. on the first day and the first report also. That's right, Ilex Gunke is the only team at the moment finding perch that want to bite. Even though they change tactics, they only manage to catch one fish here and there, but they're all big ones. You got me feeling like But you know, I hope this will hold in Holland because there's a big threat. The, the government is not uh, considering the sport fishermen as a resource and is giving away all the water to professional netting. And they come out from the sea where they empty the sea. And now, and now, they, empty and now the... they want to empty the yeah. fresh water the, the same, in the same way. And uh, it's really incredible. They don't, uh, the, fisher, the sport fishermen have no power. It's really a shame. We are losing grounds everywhere in Europe and we have insane waters, fisheries and uh, little by little we lose battles against uh, professional netting. From the Netherlands to the north of Sweden now where the rules and regulations are completely different with almost no houses and cheap licenses. The environment is really different between the teams in this season of Perch Pro. Let's see what sporting is up to. We are casting up to the shore. There's a lot of rocks up here. And in the outside in the water, there's a lot of rocks. So here it's a... Uh, but it seems like some of the perch are in here right now. Now we're on it. And I think this one is a pretty good one. Mine too. And uh, it was on drop shot for this. <laughs> Come on then. Yeah, this is a good one. I got mine. The there's another yes! one. Yes! <laughs> Oh, no! Now we do it, man! Boom. Come on! Two in the fucking bag! Woo! Exciting that Team Sporting has found some fish that are willing to bite. The results could change quickly if this continues. And the strike exactly at the same time. Look at this beauty. Look at this beauty. You think they like them? Look at it, they're just all the way back. Curly Lucy on drop shot works no. perfectly. Paddle tail Lucy. <laughs> And we got some clicks. Awesome. That's awesome. 
his belly was totally orange. But we, but we missed the one with the big uh, T. Click. Remember clicking yes, me. We're on fire now. Yeah, you're on fire and the fish keep coming for Team Sporting. Pretty, pretty. Colors. Standing in between all the, all the rocks. Clickety click. If it's up, great fish. It's, it's a, a nice really, one. really nice one. But I don't think it's over 800. Check, check the, the measure the length. The Here. length? Yeah, it is way over 30. So yeah, of course it is, but yeah, 39. You don't need to weigh them. 39. Oh. Right, back she goes. Please say it's a nice one. Yeah, it's we a, need it. It's a, I'm pretty sure it's a fist for the competition, but I don't but think now, But now it's, it's two decents uh, in two casts, actually. We might be... Yep. Yeah, it's okay. Not that big, but definitely a click fish. I like the bait, that's for sure. Gamma Cats with G-Cats and Lucy from Isaac's gear. Nice one. The perch are swimming in schools, and if they start to bite, you can catch a lot of fish in a short space of time. It seems like Team Sporting is up there and fighting with Ilex Gunky for the number point. Exciting times. For vision fly dressing, things aren't looking that bright. They had really good fishing at first light, but now it's all turned off for them. That's been a while. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, not used to that. Might even be approved. Since the midday report, we have been struggling in just extreme hard fishing. I don't know, I think we caught two fish since 12 o'clock mm. or something like that. Yeah. But suddenly it stops again. Oh, it's, it's, uh, it's more than okay. Bye bye, beauty. Fishing is that slow that I've lost my clicker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here it is. <laughs> but I mean, it was, it's, it's a bit like running your, your forehead straight into a wall. <laughs> You know what I mean? I mean yeah. you, you get you get excited and you think, oh, this is gonna be one of one of a day, and mm. then you just knocked out. So we're gonna go back to the spot where we started this morning. We've been fishing the whole lake, uh, some spots several times, but now it's back to the first spot. So it's, this is sort of point hopping. The only thing is that we got three points in a in a big area, so it's, well, it's the not... jumps are long. Yeah. While the fly guys are changing spot, CWC fishing team is thinking about changing their tactics since they caught even more Xanders since we last saw them. Well, change of plans. Our tactic doesn't work. We caught enormous amount of Xander but not a single, single, single perch. So we try to do a new drift. I will uh, cast to the shallow areas, maybe to see if the perch is there. I do it with uh, crankbaits, small crankbaits, and uh, Jimmy will keep on hammering the deeper areas. So we fish from around two and a half until six, and all the depths in, in between two find the perch. I'm, I'm lucky that, that we catch other species because otherwise I was, it, it was frustrated all over the place, but I don't have a clue. But we keep on hammering and one fish, big fish, will be enough. So we don't give up, but it's frustrating. Big one? No. Net? Yeah, why not? No. Can be the best of the day. Yeah, it is. No. no. Well, it's I over 30. It. Wait, 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 come on. No, any risks. It's over, yes. Yeah, just a couple of millimeters. Yeah, that's good. But that's we are on the list again. One more fish. fish. But hey, back in business. Yeah. And luckily, we found them again. Yeah. 
If there's one perch, there could always be more. And since CWC fishing team is only aiming for a big one, one big fish can be enough for the point. Oh, yeah. boom. Good. Big one. Yeah, good, yeah. good, good, good. I think it feels good. That's good, my friend. Zender again. No, no fuck. not the fuck. What are they doing here? It's it's gender after gender after gender yeah. after gender. It's insane. It's insane. Think of the guy that has yeah. been here for a week and one fish. Yeah. And we have been here <laughs> one day and we have like <laughs> 15. <laughs> Fly guys have used up a lot of time to change location and now they are closing in on the spot where they started fishing in the morning. For the first time today we saw a fish chasing the surface just a bit further up here. Uh, hopefully this is the start to something good because it's been so extremely slow for the last, the last couple of hours. Uh, I think we should move a bit higher up then, yep. yeah, because it's impossible to get it through this wind. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully it will get started. I will get some action for the last hour or so. Just at least one hour or something. Because one hour could, could be enough. enough. Well, the, num Damn. The, number of, the number of bait fish are here, that's for sure. Well, we haven't seen this number of bait fish the whole day. No. We actually, fr oh yeah, yeah, that's a good fish. That's a good fish, I think. Awesome. Oh. It's going sideways. Yeah, but it's not a pike. <clears throat> it's a counter. Oh look, it's orange. You got a belly, orange belly. Cool. <sighs> Beautiful fish. Let's put him back. So that was fish number 12 for the day for us, me and Daniel. Um, we don't know what kind of other kind of fishing the other guys have had. So uh, hope, hopefully it's been extremely slow. And we, well, if, if Gunky has only got one fish, then we only one fish behind. This game can change fast. You go, girl! You go, girl! I probably need a yeah, the stick board. for this one. <clears throat> I can tell you, it's probably not, but I want to make sure every single fish counts at the moment. No. Nope. Sorry, Stefan, it's too short in order to count. It has to be over 30 centimeters. So this is the fly. Um, it's more or less like a magic minnow, a ripplized magic minnow with a wave tail tucked in under it. The whole point with this fly is that when the fly goes from side to side like that, it shows shows a, 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 a big silhouette. And, and if it would have been like holographic silver or gold or something, it would have been a big flash to it when it, when it wobbles from, from side to side. It works very well. And uh, it's, a, it's an easy way to make a, a bigger fly without adding any material to it, more or less. Is it a perch? Oh. Oh. Could be a pike. It's a pike. But I don't want to lose yeah. the Raku. Yeah, so... Oh. <laughs> Oof, bring him to the net. It seems like a decent pike, but as the competition is called Perch Pro, you can't count it. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Come on, come on, come on. Yo, man! <laughs> oh, look at this! Deep inside, you're lucky, you're really lucky. <laughs> Look at this, how deep this was. I think I can thank the fluorocarbon I'm using. I mean, look at this. 
And look at the tifias. I mean, should cut ten times. A good fight. Yeah. That was a good fight. Perch on, but yeah. I lost it. Yeah, I removed the pike, so now we can fish perch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? This is what I, what I was thinking. Yeah. Exactly yeah. the same. The pike is out, the perch come back. And look, look at the leader. It was oh. a little bit damaged, yeah? I love this ice floor covered. <laughs> <laughs> It's 26. I mean, it's so fucking hard to break. It's insane. o'clock and time to report and after that there's three hours left to fish for all the teams. What do we have to report? Well, we can report a fish. We catch one. So we're now on three. And believe it or not, with only three fish on the list, in a normal setting, a normal fishing day, I think this was one of the best fishing days ever. You can imagine, because we got a load of zenders and pikes and it's, we struggled so hard. In all the spots that we did pre-fishing, Jimmy and I, but also alone, it was full of perch and, and now Nothing, they're all gone. It's all pike and zenders. You can catch the big one in the last five minutes. So uh, we're gonna keep on hammering, hammering and hammering. And it's still possible to get the biggest fish of the day. Since we fish over shallow waters, cranky. Because I have confidence in it. Well, I use the BFT clips. The fast clips. It's really easy. It looks like twisted, but small split ring. You hook it in like this, twist it one time, and then it's snapped. And you can't lose it. So there is no lock that can jump open. You put it in, twist, and it's locked. And it can hold the biggest senders bikes whatsoever and hopefully perch. Is it possible to beat uh, Elix Gunky? Do you think I had a bite? Do you think <laughs> you had a bite? You had a bite. <laughs> I had a bite. Um, these are really, 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 really good fishermen. Yeah. Team Gunky and they had 13 fish when we had eight. So and 13 fish in four hours. So they should get a, at least 20 fish in the last 20, 25 fish. Yeah, if they hold the same uh, If they tempo. hold the same speed, and yeah. I know they do because they really, really give yeah. the anglers. So Definitely. to beat them, you probably need... The boat must have been Probably <laughs> need to be between 35 and 40 yeah. today with this kind of fishing, I think. Depending on, okay, they already have one who's 1.5. Maybe they don't give a shit about the big ones now, only go for the numbers. So then we probably can catch up, but yep. if they're still chasing a bigger one, they have a small, 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 small chance. But we need to catch uh, at, yeah, least lead, at least 10 or 15 yeah, in the definitely. last two hours here. But it's a different tournament than last year, that's for sure. Everything is totally flipped around. If we take a look at the scoreboard, Team Sporting is beginning to catch up on Ilex Gunky and they're only one fish away, but all that can change quickly. The big fish point still remains the same and not many big fish have been caught lately. There's still some hours left to fish and a lot can happen for all the teams. So 
from time to time we get one fish there, one fish there, but it's really much more difficult. And uh, we need to keep moving because the bite uh, arrive all the time very early when we arrive on, the sp on a new spot. So there's really not ac no activity. You get uh, maybe one fish or two active uh, on the spot and then the bite will die. So when it happens like this, you really need to gun and run, as we said. And uh, now that we that's what we try to do, finding uh, one active fish on every spot. That's the last, uh, the, the least we can do for the moment. Yeah. And uh, let's go. Keep running. Uh, you, should, you should not stay too too no. much time on one spot. You see, it's again slowing down. Two bites and finish. To a standing ovation, high appropriate. So and so don't believe, no time to notice it. I'm too busy hustling, using my capabilities. You be human agility, you the source of my energy. Know my secret identity, balance we have yeah. energy. Fish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What day? Boogie Crow. So you see. Like we said, you arrive on the spot, first or second cast bite. Yeah. Fish on. Keep up. Yeah. Get up. Oops. And now. Wait. <laughs> Give me five, Alle. A keeper, surely, more than 30 centimeters, and again, they're a cool. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Fuck. Fuck! Cut. Cut off? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Fish on! This is not fair. I, I, I know, you are out of order. Oh, could be, could be. Since it's a really tight race for the number point, every fish is important. Remember, they must be over 30 centimeters. Ah. One centimeter. Put him in the light. We don't speak with his colleagues. Jean. Oh, keeper. Oof. This was the last second. Look, the bait is out. Poo. Good job. Good job. Vision fly dressing are starting to feel stressed since they're not catching either big fish or in any great numbers. They try to think outside the box. I'm going to try something a bit crazy. Uh... I've seen a lot of small minnows behind the boat and I've seen some fish hunting them just in the surface. So I'm going to try one of these divers. I got it from a good friend, uh, Kimaki. So we'll see if they're up to rising to them. Oh, follow us. What? Oh, that was a big fish after. Yes, behind <laughs> the boat. That was a big fish. Uh, that was a very big fish following that fly. First I was just a small fish and I didn't actually think more about it. And then just behind that small perch, <laughs> that was, it got to be, it must have been a, at least a kilo fish. But it's just, it's not enough that it just looked big. No, and it's, <laughs> it's not enough if they just look no. either. <laughs> It is a, it's a huge difference between cats in perch who is 25 centimeter and cats in perch who is 30 centimeter. Those last five centimeter is a huge difference. You can look yesterday how many we caught who was 25, or how many we caught who were 30, no, two days ago. It was insane amount yeah, of 26, insane. 27, 28. We had 100, 150 who was on that area, right? 
I don't know how many times you said it. If this was last year, if this was last year. Yeah. <laughs> but now, I mean, uh, our friends caught 220 perch in two hours. Two guys, and half of them were over 25, and the other half was under 25. So, but we didn't we didn't plan to go for the numbers. We want to catch uh, some biggies. The problem here, when we get the, the fish to, to bite, it just lasts for 10 minutes and then it's gone. For the first time on this lake, we had some hunting fish in the surface. There it came! And I didn't nail it. So now, <laughs> the only way to nail it is with the net, if they are in the surface. I don't know how to do it anyway. No results. Uh, it was worth a try. I'll keep this one ready, in case we have more hunting fish in the surface. It's getting slow for all the teams at this point, and Vision fly dressing has fished intensely all day. Not catching fish is sometimes really frustrating, especially during a competition. I need sugar! Do you have that? Give me some sugar! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, we got plenty! Ah, sugar! Uh, we're having a sort of uh, mental breakdown just before we pick up again and catch a big fish. We need you need to be broken before you get better. Exactly, you need to get broken down before you can build something up. Yeah. So now we're breaking down. <laughs> Over and out. Log out. <laughs> uh, no. Yeah. There it is. Good. Yeah, it feels like a perch. Big? No, not such big. I think he's at least over the board. Yes, maybe. Yeah. Yes, it's over. Four fish. I think we have about uh, 40 minutes of fishing left. And the plan is that uh, we stay on the spot and uh, just fishing to the end and hopefully able to, to catch a bigger perch. Hopefully. We cross our fingers for that. And uh, I think the other teams, uh, I think Gunke team had, uh, has found a good spot. Yes indeed, Ilex Gunke has found a good spot and they are steadily increasing their numbers. Now things are going in the, in the right direction. Double take. Double take. Double take. <laughs> bam bam. Up, oh, sorry. <laughs> Fish on. Lost. Good ones. Sacrament. Perch on thunder, you think? Perch. Oh. Hmm? It was really shaking. Yeah. Oh. Now you have it. But uh, could be too small. Yeah, well, that's a keeper. No. Huh? I don't think so. Oh, yes. Fish on for me. Two. Oh. Look. So, keeper or not? No. Two millimeters too short. <laughs> keeper. Click, click. You know why? The fin was a little mm, bit longer. I love this one. <laughs> the report is soon coming up and Team Sporting is concerned about whether or not they'll get the number point. Yesterday we caught 40 in four and a half hours and seven of those were over one kilo. Today we haven't got any, not yet, none over one kilo. So it's really been tough days compared to yesterday, last training day. Yeah, yeah, there I got one. Come on then. 
course not keep, a big one. Keep but it on. Maybe it could be a clickfish. No problem at all. Click, click, click. Click, click, click. Ilex gunky are changing spot and going back to where they caught the biggest fish earlier in the day in order to try and catch an even bigger one. They are cool. Frederick just lost his Dara Cup in a professional overrun and unfortunately it was his last one in that colour. Fish. Huh? Fish. Gone! Sacrament no more! It's very tight between the numbers, so losing fish right now is a very bad idea. Oh, oh, no! Deraku! Deraku is coming back! Deraku! Sometimes you need to be lucky. Instead of catching fish, Frederick has caught his lost Deraku. I save my bait! I save my bait! The only Deraku is back on the boat. This one, yo, thanks to the Uracro, but now I <laughs> think, <laughs> this shit. Well, at least that story had a happy ending, and now it's time for the final report. The only thing I'm hoping for now is that Gunky doesn't have two points. Yeah, that would suck. Hi, this is Stefan from Team Vision Fly Dressing. We got a total of 13 fish and the biggest is 1.13. It's Frederick from uh, Ilex Gunki. We have a total of 27 fish and the biggest is uh, 1.485. This is Stefan from Team Sporting Sweden here. We got 30 fish and our biggest fish is 825 grams. This is a CWC fishing team. We have uh, the to total amount <coughs> of five fish, only five fish. And uh, uh, the biggest one is two kilo and 255. So 2.255. 2.2, 2 kilos and 255 grams, so 2.255. That was an epic turn for CWC fishing team and I bet no other team expected that. Let's travel back 10 minutes in time and see what really happened. Oh, yeah, big! Yeah! Is it perch? Yeah. <laughs> Zero, Zero. I hope so. And if it's one, then it's big. Yeah! Oh, fucking no. Sander again! Why? They are terrorizing us today. Oh, why, why, why? Man, this is so frustrating. Uh, some other day it would be really, really great. Yeah. I have. Perch? Could be. I released it. Now then it's really big if it's a perch. That I could tell you. I will hold the net already here. Yeah. No, it's a sander again. But it's it's shaking. It's a perch! Yeah, it's a perch. Holy! How many oh, minutes? Oh, maybe two. Again. <laughs> we deserved it so much. Oh, Look at the God. fish this. Jimmy, oh, we deserved this so much. This one lost. We worked so hard. Okay. Oh. Now back, back, back. First. Oh Ouch. my God. Okay. Chill, chill. If they beat this fish, I can't believe it. 
Okay, we do it like this. Oh, this is what fishing is all about. Insane fish! Catching a perch over two kilograms during a competition is amazing. And this is actually the biggest perch ever caught in Perch Pro history. CWC fishing team was struggling all day, but in the end their plan really paid off. Congratulations and well done. Jenny! We did it! The plan worked! The plan fucking worked! Oh shit. Insane. I told you, they are here. And personal best also. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations, what a monster. Yeah, it was. <laughs> no points. Okay, thanks guys for the report. Great job. Cheers. Bye bye bye. bye, -bye. Again. Again. Ah, fuck off. <sighs> fuck. Three yeah. fish. Three, Three fish. fish. Fuck. 2.255. I want to see that episode. I want to see that fish. Oh shit. But they got five fish in one. Yeah. Oh man. This was. The plan worked. This was coming so far yeah. out from our toes. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh. We have really done this well. But the cool thing is still. Uh, uh, Sporting got the number point and CVC got the big fish point. Yeah. So totally re reversed everything. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> what the f what the fuck? Three fish short. Yeah. After everybody knows better. You know? After, we need to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> <laughs> Jimmy. Yeah. Jimmy, my friend! Unbelievable fish. No point, but a good fishing day. That's life. Very exciting day. A lot of things to think about, that's for sure. Let's go home, get something to eat, boys. It's time to wrap it up. Thank you today. Okay, let's go and pack. It's time now to have a look at the leaderboard after the first day of fishing. Team Sporting managed to snatch the number point from Ilex Gunky by a margin of just three fish. A tight and exciting race. The whole day, Ilex Gunky had the biggest fish, but with five minutes to go, Jimmy Lindahl caught an enormous perch with a weight of 2.25 kilograms. Congratulations once again, Jimmy. This means that CWC Fishing Team has one point and Team Sporting have one point. But everything can change in the upcoming episodes. The competition is still very much open. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe to Canal Gratis so you don't miss the next episode. My name is Philip O'Connor and you're watching Perch Pro 2018. Oh, I almost forgot. The Dutch people have a tradition of taking a swim in the water when they catch a new personal best. Okay, ready to go. Ah. No, ready to swim. <laughs> Let's do it. Go, 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 go. <laughs> go, Jimmy. And look, the you towel. Have a nice towel to me. <laughs> oh, that's coasted. <laughs> <laughs>